Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how you can change your language inside your Facebook lead form. So before I start, uh, you can, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe to this channel. This channel talks a lot about digital marketing and Facebook marketing in particular. And if you are interested in this topic and you want to know more, whether you are a business owner or agency owner or in the digital marketer, do feel free to subscribe to this channel, turn on the not notification bell. Really appreciate it to help this little channel grow. And without further ado, let me just jump into the computer to show you how you can change the language of your Facebook lead form. If you're new to Facebook lead generation form, I am going to show you how to create it a quick while, a quick one, right? So you can create it using two methods. One is using the Facebook page itself, or you can use Ads Manager. So let me show you how to do it in Facebook uh, page itself. You go to the publishing tools, right? You open this one and you can see this is where you put your published posts, your scheduled posts, your draft, etc. Right? So you go down and go to forms library. And then you see there's a few forms here. You just have to click create. So you can duplicate existing form if you have or not. You just create a new form. Next. Then you can just put, uh, for example, so there's a different form type. Uh, more volume is if you want. They can fill out everything and immediately they have a form uh, they can submit. Uh, but high intent, they means they have additional step they have to, they have to do, right? For example, after they fill out everything, they have this uh, another page to review. So a phone will be a swipe, swiping thing. I think in the mobile, it's just to click. And then you, you just click that you review your info and it's good to go. So this this is done here, right? So get an intro, um, fill it up if you as needed. Questions. This is the general questions. A pre-filled question, pre questions. Um, for example, full name, right? You can't create another full name for your custom questions because uh, since that you can get it in this field, Facebook will not allow you to create. Last time you can, last time we do create that, but now not acceptable anymore. Then we have add questions. You can have multiple choice, short answers, and conditional employment requests. So it's up to you which one that you want to do. Uh, so this this video is about changing the language, but yeah, let me just go through a brief about lead generation form. So privacy policy is needed. So you can put, if your website you can put your privacy policy link, if not just put Facebook link because you're using Facebook uh, data. I mean, Facebook page as the way to advertise and put Facebook uh, privacy policy link as well. Uh, review screen. Uh, this is just, just, this is just for example, if you have a form type of higher intent, if you just put more volume, then you'll see there won't be review screen, but privacy is needed. You need to put a link here. Completion. Um, this is what happens when you, the moment they submit everything, what to do. So make sure you use, make full use of this. Uh, for example, they can visit your website or direct to a scheduling, to appointment and things like that, right? Uh, do not waste this page. Or you can put your WhatsApp number or your uh, many chat information uh, for a chatbot, yeah, and things like that. So do not waste this thank you page because some people would will click on this. So I've run a few ads where they put uh, WhatsApp link there and people do click into the WhatsApp link and uh, my customers do get messages from this page itself. So do not waste this page. So um, you can go settings, you can put restricted. I would highly suggest to put open so that people can share your form unless you are doing some very private business, uh, which I'm not so sure what is it. Usually make sure to put open. So these settings, a lot of people kind of miss it out and a lot of people just create the page with putting restricted. Then you notice in the post itself, right? Where the page is, where the form is, you'll notice that the share button is not there. That's because it put restricted. So this, I don't know why they put default as restricted. So a lot of people didn't know about this, and they asked how come they cannot share the post. So you have to keep it open, right? Field names, so they're all here. I'm checking parameters, right? Okay. So how do you change the language? So I'm not sure you notice or not, but I can see the language here. So in this form configuration settings, uh, you can choose whether restricted or open. So other than that, you can see language here. So just click uh, US and, and all this language here. There's uh, Portuguese, Spain, Indonesian, um, Chinese. Um, I don't know what it means, but yeah, two different Chinese, US. So this is where you can change your language. The more you change, for example, if I change it to Chinese, you can see all your form contact is in Chinese, right? Uh, for example, you want to change to Dutch. You see it changed accordingly. So uh, some people will notice, hey, how come they never change? I want to change to English. This will be good if you want to be more localized 
and more direct into your customer's language, right? For example, you aim for people that speak Spanish, uh, then maybe it's good for you to use the respective language that you need. The only problem is there is only limited to this to this language. So uh, like for me, Malaysia, I cannot use uh, Malaysian language. It's not here. The most similar one is Bahasa Indonesia, but it's a bit different than the, 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 the form, right? So yeah, this is how you can change the easily the language of your lead form which is just here a lot of people kind of forget this there's additional tab called settings here so another way i'm going to show it to you well i i gone through how you can change the language it will be same thing as using ads manager but let me just show you how you can create the lead form in ads manager right you have to click create then you just have to click lead generation right So you go to new ad set. Usually if your page is new or have not run any lead gen campaign before, you will need to accept the terms. So for this page, I have run lead gen campaign before, so I've accepted the terms, so there's not much issue on that. Next, you have to go to new ad. And then you scroll all the way down. You see they say create a form in here. And you can see there's an intake form here, right? All you have to do is just create form. And the same thing you see, exactly the same thing you see, you see content settings, content settings, same thing. Or you have to go to change the language, is go settings and change the language accordingly. And then you can run ads to this lead form itself, right? It is that simple to create a lead form and also to change the language of the lead form. Yep, that's it. I just show you two ways you can create your Facebook lead form and I've also shown you the way where you can change the language of the, the Facebook lead form. So this is important if you want to use it for different market segment, for example, in Chinese market. The only issue is that it is only limited language, so you cannot have all the languages uh, that you want inside there. But if you're in those uh, language categories then you're lucky then you can use it and the Facebook lead form will change according based on the language that you that is in that list right although I hope this is useful for you and if you need more information do feel free to put in the comment section below hit me in my social media and if you like what I share do subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and yeah feel free to comment anything and let me know right appreciate very much and I see you in my next video goodbye